Hello everyone, welcome to some a bike. Uh, uh, last my last video I made was dual model controller, dual motors. How to use uh, one throttle, one pedal assist for the both motor, single drive and dual drive. So now first video I show you how how to use it. So how I did it. Now this time the second part i want to show you exactly how i did it how to connect all those connection and everything so let's start from the controller part so first what you have to do that's a controller one that's a controller two so you have to do either one or two you can just use it and then you have to connect both motor with the controller yeah, that's the first part second that's the throttle so you you can see this is a two throttle through throttle connection so one two controller two throttle connection let me see if you guys can see yeah so there is a through two throttle connection so you have to do both controller red red black black and green green whatever color you have to match those color for both controller first and second one and then you have to put it with one throttle so I just put it one throttle so you connect together both of them and one throttle connection so one throttle is done the second one same thing you have to do with the pedal assist so same why I do it the pedal is same things you have to connect first one and second one as you can see here a little bit mess uh, so you can see the first one second one is together so red red black black or whatever green green so all of them has to be same and with comes with one one pedal is there so as you can see the pedal is there yeah so now throttle done pedal is done you did it now the brakes let me show you the brakes brakes when is the brakes connection so sensor as you can see on the you can see on the display let me show you so when i press brakes example that's the brake so you can see it stop example look it's running both motor when i press it when i pull the brake it stop both motor look yeah so you have to connect one first controller once one break and second break will be the second controller that's breaks done so final part is the display display is a little bit tricky uh, so as you can see I connect the display let me show you one display is connected as you know that's the one display one display is connected here yeah so one display is connected here that's the first one and that's the second one yeah so that's the only here as you can see a red red black black green green as all same same color to come out only one also only things from the second controller second controller the green one the signal you don't need it you don't need to connect the second one second controller first controller you need to connect with the display the green one as you can see green one is only connected to the first controller not the second controller rest all you have to connect the same color same color everything both display cable display connector from the controller it's come to connect all all of them same color as the display you can see display here yeah but only the second controller you don't have to connect the green one hopefully you guys understand and rest everything is fine and then Another things when if you want to put it uh, single mode one um, uh, dual controller or single controller uh, sorry uh, single uh, like single motor if you want to run single motor or dual motor so it's already connected all together right so you can just press it and both motor as you can see both motor is running over there yeah one two but if you if you want to use only one you have to May buy a switch like this any switch you can buy it dual mode single mode as you can see there is a switch what you have to do 
that's the switch connector you see the throttle connection yeah all right so what i have to do with the second from the second first and second throttle connector right so what i have to do only where is connected to like you know first one and second one what i have to do you need a signal cable so you have to find a signal cable signal cable is the green one so you have to do don't connect the from the first one to second one right don't connect it so we have to do with the, because uh, before you connect it you don't have to uh, before you connect to the uh, first one second one together what you can do you just cut the this is the this is the option so you have to cut the green one yeah make a separate cable and just as you can see here i uh, put it that's the dual mode controller as you can see that's the green one you have to from the second one and the first one just just you have to disconnect it and connect with this cable any any switch you can if you want so like example if i put a one so it will be run only one motor as you can see only one so if you press 12 so we'll run both yeah i guess everyone understood how i did it everything as you can see the paralysis as well everything will work both together yeah so yeah so please guys if you like my video i try to find out more about the electric motors controllers and those stuff if i know something if i can get something out from there if i'm really happy to help you guys uh, so please subscribe my channel and like my video and share my video thank you very much bye bye have a good day bye